to the Narika talk show. Now moving to our next questions which are Doctor, how can muscle aches and pain can be treated? Muscle aches and pains can be managed on a long term basis by having a proper diet and exercise and along with it if the pain issue is too severe we can resort to something called as HRT which is hormone replacement therapy in many of cases it has shown to be helpful all right doctor doctor what is osteoarthritis osteoarthritis is a normally aging process in which the cartilage present in between the joint it uh, gets inflamed or there is wear and tear that's the reason the cartilage is reduced and because of which people experience pain in their joints. Alright doctor. So doctor what home remedies are there for muscle pain? Home remedies you can use are like improving good posture, having good sleeping position. When you are working you should have your uh, screen of the laptop or your computer at your eye level. So when you are sitting keep your legs below your hips or use a footrest to give rest to your legs. These are some techniques which you can do to reduce muscle pain. Alright doctor. Doctor, any tips for spine health and reducing muscle aches? The techniques which you can use to have a good spine health are do stretching exercises on a daily basis, maintain a proper weight, try to not let like menopause ke baad, there is a very high chance that there may be sudden increase in your weight, try to keep it in control. Try to have a diet which is pretty anti-inflammatory. Then you can use a mattress which is comfortable for you. These are certain things which you can do. So doctor, what exercises can help your Sure. Uh, you can do certain exercises like the cat cow, the child pose, forward fold, chest opener, high plank, the bending down dog, pigeon pose. These are certain poses of yoga which you can do and uh, certain other exercises are you can sit on a chair and you can do chair based exercises to strengthen your arms and your legs. <clears throat> Alright doctor. So doctor, next question is that what should one keep in mind with regards to sleeping habits? So the most important advice for a person who is going through menopause and having pain is that find a position which is comfortable for you which helps you relieve that pain. The most advisable position is to sleep on your back. But if you have the habit of sleeping on your sides, make sure you support your body with pillows. The second uh, advice is to get yourself a mattress which is comfortable for you. The third thing, the third thing, get in and out of bed carefully. Gentle yoga before bed. Try to establish a routine for your sleep and try to cut down on the stress. All right, doctor. Thank you. Doctor, are there herbal remedies to help? There are certain herbal remedies which are uh, going around in the market. You can use uh, herbal uh, stuff which have estrogenic properties like soya beans and flavanols. And along with that, primrose oil is also seen to be beneficial. Conventional medicines which are available to give a short term relief are NSAIDs like paracetamol, ibuprofen are available if they are not contraindicated and for a long term relief of symptoms to tide over menopause we can give HRT which is hormone replacement therapy and currently uh, good HRT drugs are available like Tibulone which have, which have minimum side effects. Alright doctor, now coming to the last question of our session that says, when should one consult a doctor? 
See, normally menopausal muscle pain is something which stays for a while, but if it is pers persistent and not getting controlled, please visit a doctor. Apart from that, if you are starting any new medication like statins, or if there is tenderness, swelling, or you have some kidney complaints, you have any chronic kidney disease, or any other chronic disease, and these pains start, please do visit a doctor once. All right, doctor, thank you so much for your information and views on it. And I hope the session was extremely beneficial and informative for our viewers as well. So doctor, before we leave the session, is there anything else you would like to share with our viewers? One uh, message which I would like you to take home with you is that menopause is something which is a normal aging process and is going to happen to everyone. Some people may tie out very smoothly and some people may have a rocky journey but you don't need to go through the symptoms. You can very easily do some home remedies or approach your healthcare provider to help you with those symptoms. Thank you. Well doctor, that was a great response and thank you so much for your time that you took out like some time out of your busy schedule and being a, being a part of an Arka talk show. We are so glad to have you, Doctor. So we'll meet you in the next session with another exciting topic. Till then, stay happy, stay healthy and stay safe. some of the very interesting questions regarding our today's topic that is muscle pain. So doctor before we move into our further questions would you please like to introduce yourself to our viewers? Hello everyone I am Dr. Sidra Khod. I am a consultant gynecologist and I have been practicing in this field since past seven years. All right doctor. Doctor what was that moment in your life when you decided to become a doctor? When I was a kid, I visited with my parents uh, to a hospital uh, where my mother was getting treated for spondylysis and uh, after seeing how the doctor treated my mom and her pain was gone and she was relieved, that made me realize that what power doctors hold and I have always been a very sensitive and a sympathetic person so I knew this will be the perfect profession for me to express what I am born with and that is what has that is what has always been I have been in sync with and hence I'm here. All right doctor thank you. So now <coughs> doctor we'll move further to our questions. So my very first question to you is that what is menopause and muscle pain? So when a woman is going through menopause many of them will experience pain and stiffness all over their body. This is called as menopausal muscle pain and it can range from mild discomfort to a little severe sort of pain. muscle pain in some women so whenever we experience any sort of pain in any situation we try to avoid movements to do that pain and sometimes we keep our body in a particular position for a longer time due to which the body becomes stiff and the pain becomes severe this is called as muscle tension okay doctor doctor what is menopause Menopause is a time in the life of a woman when her ovaries stop producing hormones 
and she stops getting her normal periods. Now the symptoms of menopause can go on for any number of years but we say menopause has established when she has not got even one single period for consecutively 12 months. Okay doctor. Doctor, what are the symptoms <coughs> of menopause? The symptoms of menopause can vary from person to person but the most common symptoms which are seen are changes in menstrual cycle, night uh, sweats and hot flushes, difficulty in sleeping, mood swings, memory loss, vaginal dryness, disinterest in sex and so on. about menopause and muscle pain so what happens is as menopause happens there is a complete change in the hormonal milieu which is happening inside the body of the lady so normally the lady was uh, protected by estrogen and progesterone which is normally present in normal levels in her body but as menopause happens these both hormones go down and as they go down inflammation and osteoarthritis in the body increases because of which pain and muscle tension is experienced throughout the body. Alright doctor. Doctor, how many women typically experience muscle aches and pains? Approximately 68 to 78 percent of women experience these menopausal muscle pains. Okay. Doctor, are muscle aches and pains linked to any particular stage of menopause? Yes. Uh, in, if the different stages of menopause are premenopause, perimenopause, and postmenopause, and these muscle aches are most commonly seen in the postmenopausal group, and they are way more as compared to the pre and the perimenopausal group. Yes, stress leads to inflammation and inflammation leads to these muscle pains. Okay, doctor. Doctor, which things can help inflammation? To reduce inflammation, it is very important to take a holistic approach. So when the pain is severe in the initial phases, when it is happening new and you don't know what is happening with to you, you can go to a doctor and they can prescribe you anti-inflammatory medicines. But these pains can also be managed on a long-term basis by taking an anti-inflammatory high-protein diet which could involve nuts, pulses, beans, lentils, legumes and taking a food which is rich, which is estrogenic in property. Also, you will have to increase, see muscle pains are happening because of stiffness. So the thing which is going to help it a lot along with diet is exercise and flexibility in improving moments. Alright doctor. Doctor, what can help to relieve muscle tension? You can do uh, activities like yoga, pilates, formal stretching and weekly or frequently you can get some massages. You can, if the pain is severe, you can also use hot fermentation or ice packs. And if some pains are very severe, you can resort to pharmacological means also. It's time for a short break. We'll meet you after the quick break. 